all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we're trying to see how to do a simple nlb tax on our drag review data set so in the previous tutorial we saw how to do an elaborate eda on our data set so in this tutorial we're trying to see how to work on name entity recognition you have seen how to do sentiment analysis which is a format of nlb tax so in this particular case we'll be trying to see how to recognize new entities within our review right and a specific entity we're trying to recognize our drugs so let's see what we're doing so this is going to be our package we're using so we're using pandas and then we're using some nlp packages right so we have already imported them and the basic idea of what we're trying to do is that we'll be using this data set that we use right this particular data set from uci which you have seen how to work with it and we'll be trying to see how to identify entities within them okay so let's start so i just come back here and then we'll be importing spacey the almighty spacey to help us work on it then we using stop waste from red cloud you can use stop waste from any from spacey in here and here it's going to work then from spacey.util be important min batch so min batch allows you to be able to to train your data and return it in batches right very interesting then we also have compound which allows you to be able to train your data and then produce compounding values so these are the two main things to be important from spacey.util then these are the normal regular expression and random to help us with that so this is our data set the one that we used previously which we got from here right a clean one which we used from here we added the sentiment to it so let's check it out so i'll come back to this particular place and let's go with df.head let's preview it right so we're going to preview this particular data set we have so the most important thing we'll be using in this session is that we'll be trying to use we using only two of the columns we're using the review session which consists of only the review and then the drag name so that to be training it to identify the drag name as an entity on its own right so let's go back again and let's check it out so before we go on let's understand something about our ner right which is name entity cognition so spacey gives us anytime you create a spacey object it creates an nlp pipeline right an object something like this right which you're going to pass in your test it's going to produce this particular document that you can use to do your manipulation so within this nlp object we have three stuff we have the tagger the parser and then the NER. so these are the three main components for our nlp pipeline right so in case i want to modify any aspect space gives you the option of picking any of these particular components and modifying them or updating them as you wish so we'll be picking the NER, which is the name and recognition and then we must modifying them or updating them or be using it to train our own so i'll come back here and then let's open it out so we already have let's create a simple nlp object so it's going to be our nlp zero which is empty which is not it's not empty but it's we are starting from this it's going to be my spacey dot load then i'm passing my en core web sm right we are using this particular model right very simple now if i go back in case i want to check this particular object that has created i can just go back to to get all the all components I can spell components of this pipeline right of this object right of this nlp object or pipeline I just go with my nlp zero right dot pipe if I, pipe names right so if i go with pipe names so we have pipe labels pipe names pipe all of these things there so i can actually get all the three different components there right we have our tagger for tagging parser and then our NER. so this is what we're trying to modify so in case i want to pick this one and you work with it and do some addition to it or modify it i can actually store this particular one to a variable and do whatever thing i want to do on it so i can just come back here and call it as NER zero then i'll just go with my nlp zero we are calling it zero because just empty right we are not going to be using it now so pipe don't want to conflict with ourself perfect so this is how we're going to store it inside this particular variable called any any hour zero then now i can actually add a label to it so any hour zero dot add label then uh, for inside this particular variable that's why i'm going to pass in all my labels that i want to add to it for you to remember right very very interesting and the caveat is that when you are trying to add your label you should have a particular format when you are trying to train your data set so that is something very simple about the component right about the component of this particular pipeline so we're trying to pick this one and then we're trying to modify this one with a new entity perfect so let's try what you have done so far on a raw example before we move on so this is going to be a simple raw example so i call it as my example 
I don't know whether you can see it very well. I hope everybody can see it well. Okay, so in that case, it's going to be like my T1 for, or let's call it as ES1, for example, one. So now I'll say that James, right, is, so James went to London to buy, say he went to buy ibuprofen last yeah 2019 right something like that so this is a simple test that is having only three entities or four entities james london and then a year as well as this particular drug right so in case i want to recognize the entities i can just go quit a docs it's going to be my nlp right dot nlp we are using the first one dot i already initialized it already right so i'll just pass in my test or my example example one right I'm going to create this particular docs ob object so what i've passed is going to use the tagger the password the any error and then the docs to create this particular docs right so if i check for the type of this of this my docs let me bring it up if i check for the type of this maybe i'll change the team so that it's giving us as a docs, right? Which is the same thing that we can see from here, right? Perfect. So it has within this particular object that we have created, this NLP object, we have all of these three capacities or capabilities, tagger, parser, and yeah. So you can tag it, you can pass it, you can check for the entities within them, right? But in our case, we'll be picking only this one to train it, right? Perfect. So I've taken that one out and I'll come back to this same thing here that I've done. We have seen the type of it so i can actually check for the entities there it's going to be the entities click for entities so if i go back to let's say for mm, for token in my or you can just go for label anyhow you want it to be for token in my docs dot ents right because you're taking you are working on entities then i can just go with my print the token itself can even call it entities let's make it entity so that it becomes better so let's call this entity right for entity in my docs dot entity then i'm going to print out that particular entity and then the label right so n t t right and then the entity underscore right entity dot label underscore right so if i run it like this it's going to run it and identify all the entities there so you can see that we have james as a person which is correct london as a geopolitical environment correct last year as a date perfect but ibuprofen is not an organization <laughs> i don't know but ibuprofen everybody knows that ibuprofen or maybe panadol or any drug is a drug so we're trying to see how to train our nlp object to be able to identify this one correctly it was able to do a good job but we need to make sure that this is a drug so that's what we're trying to do with our data set we want to identify all the drugs within our data set so in preparing the so the most important thing we need is that we need to be able to separate this one out and then prepare our data and train it right so let's check it out so in training or preparing our data the most important thing you need to do is that you need the data must be in a format of a tuple right and this is how it's supposed to be the simplest format that you must have your data right and then you must specify the entity and then the stats which is going to be then where the entity is starting from the entity that you want to train you want to identify and then the stop then you're going to give the particular label for that so an example is who is shaka khan you have the entity seven seven starts from here so one zero one two three four five six right so it's saying seven yeah seven based on the space seven and then 17 right so that particular entity that's the number the start the stop then the particular entity right so this is how to prepare your training data right so let's see how to do that in our tutorial so i'm going to create a simple function right so this is a simple function to help us process our data right very simple function which is going to run through the test and then tokenize them right something very simple this is about tokenization it's something simple not that important it's not that complicated rather so let's check our data set that we have so we have this particular data set here so i'm going to go back to my my drugs or the drugs so what you are trying to train is that you're trying to get the drugs right and then maybe to recognize all the drugs within our reviews 
and then classify them as entities or identify them or recognize them as entities so in that case it's going to be my df and i'll just go with my drag name apologies for the noise behind right perfect then if i go with dot unique it's going to list all the drags named there right perfect but i want to get all of them as a list so it's going to be dot to list then let's store inside a variable called all drags right so something like that so if i go with this option all drags it's going to convert them to all drags for me and i can actually print it out but the best thing is i have to normalize them so i go with all drags I'm going to list every drag there for us right but all of them are some of them are in capital some of them are in small letter so we can actually convert the entire stuff into a small letter case right to make it better so i can just equate it again to this option which in case in this case is going to be something simple so it's going to be can make it something like you say s dot lower right you convert them to lower case and let's say for x in all the drags right so, so let's convert everything to a lower case so very interesting so that is all that we have done so far now let's see how to prepare our data so, so remember that our data must be in a format of a tuple with the entity and then the label and then the location so if i go back and i just go with my all drags i said now it's is in all of them are in lower case which is better so let's work on the next step so we have gotten a list of all the drags that you want to identify as as the entity or the label drag right so let's come back here so let's see how to prepare our data set so we'll be using this same simple function to loop through the entire data set our entire reviews column which is this df reviews column so we want to loop through this particular reviews column and pick all the words there right every way there including all of these drags there right so we are going to identify all the drags within our review and then get their position get their location just as we had for our training data set and used to build a data set like we had here like we had here right so we are trying to fetch all of those reviews then fetch the any place that it's having any of these names that we had the drag list then we're going to get the start position the stop position and then put it as a label of drag so that's what we're trying to do so i'll come back and then i'll work on this code so the code will be available so that you can also work on it so this is it so we have created a variable called train data then i'm going to loop through our data frame right then we're going to create a dictionary then we're going to count less than thousand then we're going to use our process review to tokenize our stuff and clean it our review then going to locate drags and find their position once and then add it to the visited items then do the same thing so we're going to be looking looking through all our drags so this all drags is the one that we had here this particular all drags that we did this one right so we are going to be looking through all of them if you are going to if you identify any drags within our drag name that is found within our review we will get the location and then put it as our training data right that is a basic understanding so we are using this particular option the span to help us get our location then we are equating it to the drags right very simple agreed then we're going to add it to our entities and we're going to do the same thing for the rest so let me run this one again so it's going to run so that's taking some time we we'll take some time and run it and then create our data set for us right so we're going to iterate through all the reviews and prepare it for us. Perfect. So that's finished. So if I go back to this train set, so the basic idea is that you just create a variable called train data. This function can be used for many things, right? Then we're going to look through whatever you're getting, you're processing them. They're going to identify the location using this particular option, find an item, and then they span the location. They're going to create a tuple and then store inside a particular variable. So if I come back and I check it here train data right if i run this one means that it's going to give us in a very nice format right so we see that we can see it from here this is very nice right so just as we had above so it's going to give us the particular particular entity right the location and then the drag right so for all of them so i just started april and so far the best pill blah 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 
that's given us the location for the start and the end and then the drag right so that's how we can create a simple data so this can this simple function can be used to do a lot of things you can just repeat it the only thing you need is just to change your review right change this one to the particular data that you want you have your list of things you want to identify then like that right so that is a bit of understanding behind it now let's move on to the next one so we have gotten our train data so let's see how to train our NER. so to train our NER, we have a simple function which you can get from here so space you already have this particular function so you can just copy this function the same thing let me make it better this is the same function right it's a, this simple function here so you can use this one or any of these functions to help you right the same thing there but the, the steps are below so you can just check it out right to help you understand that so let's go so this is how it is so this is a simple function that i've copied from that place modified right so the steps is that you're going to create a blank nlp object right it's like this particular blank stuff you're going to pick only this one and then update it right that's the big understanding behind it so we're going to create a blank nlp object we're going to add our na to the nlp model we're going to add our labels that we have gotten from our train data to it so that's the big steps there so this is going to create our blank spacey object as a class then you're going to say that if there is no any inside our nlp pipelines as we learned if there's none of this here then i want us to add create another one right create another one and then add it to our nlp because this is blank in case you are using the original model you can skip this one right but because you are using a blank one that's why you're trying to work with this so this is very useful so that you don't mess up your own right perfect then we're going to get the pipeline and store it inside the variable as we did above now where we are going to add our labels is this particular place so we're going to loop through our training data get all the places that was named entity here so we are getting every place that we had this particular variable call this particular key called entity they are picking this particular entity and then these values and then the drag right the label so they start stop drag and then entity so that's what the annotation is helping us to do right then we're going to add it as our label like that then after that we are going to train it for many many times so we'll be using the mini batch to help us train and return it in batches using this particular option yeah and then finally we are going to check the loss right so the loss is going to help us with just like normal loss stuff right very interesting so let's store this start this particular variable we're going to return an NLP object so this is a simple function which does these three stuff it's going to create an nlp a blank nlp object if there is no nlp it's going to add if there's no in any arrow it's going to add it to it we're going to add our label from our training data set then train right so let's check it out so i'll come back here and we have our training data set already so we have our training data set so in case i want to train it it's very simple i can just come back here so let's train right so we'll be training our data so we're going to create a, a new nlp so we're going to be nlp you can call it nlp2 right then from here i'm just going to go straight away with you can call it nlp3 anyhow you want it to be so nlp2 i'm just going to go with my train nlp right now passing my train data set train data right so it's going to train it and store it inside this particular variable called nlp it's going to take some time so creating an nlp object is going to determine our loss function so this is where it's going to take a lot of time right so while it's taking some time in case you are not subscribed to this channel you can also subscribe and check the link below for some interesting materials to help you master machine learning and then python so the basic idea of all that you are doing is that you need to be able to pick this one out uh, if add your add had you have your training data with your entities and then the location and the position of your entities plus the look plus the label then you update it right or you train it so it says giving us the losses for that particular one it's going to train it for 10 times because that's the item right it's going to take some time so i'll pause it then after that you continue perfect so just finish right so this is just a normal loss like maybe in case you're using tensorflow or any deep learning model so this is telling us when it is wrong right then this is like the normal loss function stuff so it has finished training everything that's given us our result now everything has been stored inside this variable called nlp2 right very interesting now let's 
see how to test it and see whether it's going to work so we can actually try it on the previous one that we did whether we had an example called example one right this example so we can actually try this new one that you have created right so this was it so james went to london to buy a proofing last year so i can try it on this one but remember that this we used was a blank nlp so since it's blank there was no tagger there's no passer there's only just blank and then we added this one right we created this one so we're not going to identify some other stuff there that's one thing about this when you're training the model so in case you are training it you should actually add the old ones thing so that it's able to remember to always forget so let's check it out so this let's call this one as my docs2 right then i'll call it as nlp2 i'm passing my example one right so i'm trying to see whether i should be able to recognize this ibuprofen as drugs so if i come back here now i can just go it for entity in my docs docs2 dot ent let's print entity and then we're going to be printing the entity dot label right and that's good. supposed to bring the bar to enable us to help us to enable us remember it so let's run this one out so if i run this it's going to identify the ibuprofen as a drug perfect right so that is something very interesting so we notice something here that it did not remember james london last year the reason it did not do it, it did not remember them is that there's something called forgetting so you mostly forget when you're training a blank model our model was blank right so there was no tagger no passer and just empty so we have to add this in here so the best one is to update your model right not to just create a blank one but i prefer the blank one to be able to help you identify your entities and then later on you use the other one to help you identify the remaining one and add them that one is better right also except you're using a virtual environment okay perfect so that is how to do that so now let's try it on stuff and test it and see on the entire stuff on our setup see whether it's going to recognize them i can just come back here and this is going to be a simple example going to be for test in train data all right let's pick the first let's say let's pick the first five right and i can now go with my create my new document and go with my nlp2 dot or oh, pass in my test and from here i can just do the same thing that we did about right as we did about so let's put inside a result or can we make it like result which is going to be our entity so it's going to be my ent so it can be like for ent in doc dot ents then let's bring it out so we're so putting in our label it's going to be my ent and then the ent dot label right so we can actually print this one out so let's print our result this is the same thing as we did above so we're going to work it on it so perfect so it's able to give us our particular stuff here so sander so it will identify all the drugs within our data set right very very interesting very cool that is something nice so let's see how to apply the same thing on our data set. So I'm just create a create a simple function. Let's go to extract or extract the drag entities. Let's make it like extract drag entity. And I'm passing my test. Right. So this function is going to be the same thing as above. And I'm going to create a docs, which is going to be my NLP two. Then I'll pass in my test. Then just as we did above, we're also going to be using the same thing to help us recognize them, right? All the entities within there, right? So we can also do the same thing above here. So let's let's watch the result, which is going to be we can I can even copy this one. So let's copy this. Right, you can actually only identify the word in the entity, right? So let's make this one doc so that it match up. Then we're going to retain it. So retain result. Here's a simple function you have created to help us 
extract drag entities from our test right so i can actually come back to this in place to what we have been doing so far and apply it on our data set right so i can just go back to the same thing that we did which was going to be our review this is a data set right our review so we want to identify all the drag entities within them right so i can just go with the apply and i pass in my extract drag entity right this is going to take some time so the best option is i can just pick maybe the first four the first five or anyhow i want it to be right for it to work but you are running on it it's going to take some time and give us our result so let's make it simple not everything so i'll just pick the first 10 the first 10 and work on it so i cannot use iloc or any of them so let's hopefully it works right perfect so it said that has been able to identify all the drags and the entities within our data set very simple and very cool so it will know that this is a drag this is an entity right so that is how to train your your spacing model to be able to identify a specific type of entity right so we have seen how to do that from scratch so the basic idea behind all that we did so far is that first of all you just have to import the normal stuff that we did put your packages all that we did right and then most important we need is that you need to be able to understand the concept about how the NER works right so what it works is that we have our NLP object we have our tagger parser NER going to pick this NER and going to create it and then add our label to it right and then the next thing that our training data must be in a particular format that is the basic understanding behind it so that is a basic way to do that so the basic understanding is that you must have a, a well structured data right which must be in a format of a tuple with your test then the entity then the start and a stop for that particular entity and then the label you want to use then you can process it then in our case we use the drag names as our entity that you want to identify with all the drags and then we created a simple for loop function to help us to get all the drags and create a very nice data set which is having a position and then a drag in the label using this particular option here ita and then a span right to help us with that and then finally we created a normal, a normal function to help us do that which is finding that we got from here right so thank you for watching this long tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put it in the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe and then kudos to curious programmer and then spacey dogs for making it simple for us thank you see you another time stay blessed bye so so these are the credits right so spacey their dogs we got the function from here and an idea and help curious programmer so thank you for watching see you another time and please don't forget to subscribe and check the link below for more see you another time